Good morning and welcome to Beginning the Day with God on Monday the 5th of December. We've just been listening to the Christmas carol, Like a Candle Flame. Today we continue our Advent pilgrimage and our theme is food. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence. That we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Our theme, as we've heard, is food. And we begin, as always, with a gift to ask God for. We ask for the gift of being able to see beyond our own immediate needs and concerns and to be sensitive to the hungers of those whom we meet during these Advent days. And now a reflection for the road. <clears throat> At its most basic level, food is fuel. And this is how it can be experienced when making a walking pilgrimage. Just as when driving in a remote area with few petrol stations, we have to be careful to keep an eye on the fuel gauge of our car so that we don't run out of petrol and get stranded. So as we walk, we need to be aware of how much food we have with us and where and when we are going to be able to attain more. The writer of today's reflection says, I vividly remember a Sunday dinner in a park in Pamplona that consisted of a hard-boiled egg and a small amount of day-old cold pasta, since every shop in the city was closed for the Sabbath. The difficulty in this situation is that food can come to dominate our thoughts, eclipsing any of the more worthy considerations that we might expect as a pilgrim. For most of us, most of the time, there is little difficulty in having enough to eat. It does no harm then to share for a short time something of the experience of those who have to spend many of their waking hours searching for what they need. And once again, the effect is to greatly increase our gratitude for things that, in more everyday circumstances, we might simply take for granted. When was the last time that you were really hungry? Has there ever been a time when you literally did not know where your next meal was coming from? As we ponder questions like these, do they suggest anything that we might want to address either about our own relationship with the food that we eat or our response to those whom we know directly or through the media, who have to struggle to find all that they need to live on. And now scripture to accompany our pilgrimage. In Matthew's parable of the Last Judgment, when the sheep are separated from the goats, both sheep and goats are amazed to discover that they have been encountering and reacting to Jesus in the course of going about 
their daily business. The goats, those who fail the judgment test, are horrified to realise that they have been neglecting him. And we read in Matthew chapter 25, verses 44 and 45, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and did not take care of you? Just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it for me. The goats are not obviously evil people. They bear no ill will towards those they have failed to help. But they are rejected, ultimately, because they fail to notice and to respond to the needs of those around them. Wrapped up in our own concerns, it's jolly easy for us to do the same. And now, words for the journey. King of glory, you who alone can judge the human heart, make us more aware of the needs of those around us, so that we may feed those who are hungry in body, mind or spirit. Amen. And now, awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now is the time to awake out of sleep. For the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. For the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. For the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. For the night is far spent and the day is at hand. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.